big stand mixer, but Smeg is not new to um, appliances and to our homes. As a matter of fact, for 70 years, they've really been innovating and really pairing design with functionality, which is what you see right here and what you see here. Yes, we are known for technology with style. So, mm -hmm. yeah, 70 years since 1948. Wow. Third generation family owned company from Italy. This is a piece of artwork as much as it's going to do every job and be your workhorse in the kitchen. Colors to choose from, and mm -hmm. I'll let you handle that. But what I do want to start with is firstly looking at how beautiful the head is of this, the motorhead yeah. of this. It is absolutely got that rounded design. It's kind of on a vintage 50s style feel. It's giving you a simplistic way to use it, and I want to go through each feature. Okay. But the first thing I want to look at is we are doing a cake mix, right? We think of a stand mixer, we say, well, one of the first things is my baking. And mm -hmm. I want you to start thinking about now the fact that Christmas is around the corner, the holidays around the corner. When we want to do our baking, this is a five-quart stainless steel bowl that's going to come with this. And as it's moving, I want you to notice it's doing a planetary movement. Mm -hmm. What that means is that the head is moving one direction, the actual attachment is moving another direction. Oh. And so what that means is it's actually hitting all the sides of the bowl. So for your stand mixer, you always want to have that. It's a very important feature. It means that you're not going to have to do a lot with the spatula at Good. the end. Good, scraping along exactly. the sides or anything. There, there is a lot of detail, but let me share with you first, because as you're listening, I want you to go ahead and order. We've got it for you in silver. We've got this beautiful red. We also have it in black. Um, this beautiful, soft, soft blue. It also comes in a cream and a mint green. Pink, we have one left in pink. Oh. And then the mint green is going to be the next most limited. We only have, gosh, four left in mint green. Um, oh th th this is the thing. Today, and for the only day, this Meg stand mixer anywhere is $299.95. Everywhere else that you look and you will find it, it's gonna be over $450 everywhere, but only for just our very small quantity and just for one day we've got it at this price. And we also have it on free shipping and we've got it on five flex and nobody else has five flex. Totally true. Mm -hmm. um, so this is an incredible opportunity for you. If you've been thinking about a stand mixer, you've been thinking about a gift for someone to give them a stand mixer, you are thinking about a bridal shower, mm -hmm. you're thinking about just, you know what I think, this is the greatest way and the easiest way to give a rehab to your kitchen. Mm -hmm. So if you've been looking for a way to make your kitchen just look nicer, forget yeah. about spending thousands of dollars, you can just get a new Smeg mixer, and we also have all the Smeg appliances in our entire line. That's right. Now what I'm showing you here, and I'm gonna go just a little bit faster here, I have three cake mixes in this wow. five quart stand. So when you say, wait, Carrie, three? Well, not that often maybe will you do three, oh. but I want you to see for capacity reasons, yeah. from one to three, Three, this will do the trick oh for you. Gosh. Because of the design of our bowl, it's actually shorter and wider. And the reason that we did that is, again, to make sure that it gets all sides when it's mixing. Okay. You have 10 different speeds up on the top. And I think this is about done. So you saw how fast that just did yeah. that. And it's so quiet, too. It's very quiet. That is something we are well known for. It's absolutely giving you the quietest mixer on the marketplace. So I'm actually just going to pop out my whisk. Now you're getting your whisk, you're getting your paddle, and you're getting your hook but real quick just to show capacity and to show how oh well gosh. this mix there are no lumps and bumps mm -hmm. there is nothing left there that you would have any worry with in your baking this is going to be your workhorse and what you're going to use all the time in the kitchen wow that is a huge capacity and so you notice it had no problem with that now we're going to kick it up a little bit so now we're kicking it up so we have 10 different speeds and we have a smooth start function which means if you're working with flour or you're working with anything in your bowl when you have a smooth start it's going to slowly ramp up to that fast speeds, which is what it did here, and it's not going to kick out everything that you're working on. Now, this is our meringue, so we have our egg whites in there, we already did our cream of tartare, and as this starts to show peaks, that's when I'm going to, and you know, maybe you want to, you thought, it would be cool to make meringue mm -hmm. for my pie, or yeah. to make little meringue treats, but the problem has been, you know, you need to have something powerful enough to move through it, yeah. and to give you the proper consistency. Yes. So Those with peaks. this, again, exactly, you're getting 10 speeds to work with on this. The stainless steel ball at the top is all you have to worry about. And I love that about Smeg. We're taking a nostalgic design, we're giving you simplicity, but we're giving you 600 watts of power. Mm -hmm. That's what this has. 
So with 600 wow. watts, exactly. Anybody else on the marketplace that has, with their five quart misters is, yeah. is at about 350. Oh my gosh, this is almost double. Exactly. Almost double what you find on the market. And you find really great stand mixers, but they're extremely expensive. They are don't have the same capacities as this has, and they're louder. They're just harder to work with overall. Do you notice the ease of this? So you moving. look at it and you love the the kind of um, beautiful retro design, but this is a workhorse. So what we're working on right now, I'm going to leave it work for a minute because meringue takes kind of a few minutes for it to get to that hard that, that place where we want it with the hard peak. Over here, I want you to see this is what we're working towards for a finish. Mm -hmm. So when you're done, you actually can take the meringue, you use it, you put it into the circles, you bake it, and then you can put your fresh whipped cream and your fresh berries on top. Very Super easy. Nice. Fewer than 150 of these remaining, and that's it. Okay, so now we're just going to do like a whipped cream kind of mousse. Um, so if you, uh, first it's going to do a whipped cream, and then I'm going to add my raspberry, which is actually going to then thicken it and create a raspberry mousse. So we're going to just start with our whipping cream, and that's something that you will use your mixer for a lot. If you've never had fresh whipped cream mm. on your pies, on your cakes, on your desserts, again, with that smooth start, all I'm going to do is move my stainless steel knob up to about 9 or 10. The machine is not moving. Mm, yes. Please notice I can go all <laughs> the way up to 10. I'm at yes. my fastest speed and this is staying still. Yeah. It's not shaking like some others on the marketplace That's do. That's right. It's absolutely doing the job and therefore I say it's the workhorse. Yeah. But the thing I always like to mention, I'm just gonna bring it down just a little. The thing I like to mention about our mixers mm -hmm. is while that's working, we're a piece of art. Mm -hmm. So because the reason we say technology with style is because think about it, in life, we spend all this time with furniture and artwork in our kitchens, mm -hmm. or in our living rooms mm -hmm. and in our dining rooms. We yes. spend time doing that. Mm -hmm. But what about our kitchen? Yeah. This is something that you will feel good putting on your cat on your counter space, Absolutely. leaving it out. Absolutely. You're gonna find the color that works best for your kitchen. Uh-huh. And this will be a talking piece. Because yes. whenever anybody comes in your kitchen, they're gonna say, oh, what is, everybody's yeah. been doing that here, as this has just been sitting out in the hallways. Yes. People have been like, oh my gosh, what is that? It's beautiful. They're gonna say, you have a smeg. Yeah. It's something that everybody knows about, but not many people, not as many people have. Maybe because this is a $459 stand mixer and worth every penny and then some. Mm. But today we've got it at a birthday price and we promised you during our 41st birthday here at HSN that we were gonna bring you new, innovative, we were gonna bring you the best of the best and that's what we've got with Smeg. So if you want it, we've already, um, I believe pink may already be gone. Um, the mint green is gonna quickly follow that but we also have it in silver, red, black, cream or this soft blue and and extremely limited just overall. So while you're watching, because I know you want to watch the whole presentation, I do want you to go ahead and reserve your color to make sure that you can get that home. And I noticed you poured in the raspberry. So what I did here is I poured in my sugar and my raspberry, so now I'm taking this to mousse level. So Ooh. at the first we had our whipped cream, so you, might, you saw in a matter of moments that that was done. But now we're taking this to mousse level. Again, With the you're gonna get the whisk, you're gonna get the dough hook. Okay. You're going to get the, um, uh, what am I missing? I'm a paddle. The paddle. And, and the paddle. So those are all coming with. Keep in mind that we do have many attachments that go onto the front motor head here. So you see here, this actually just comes off. We're gonna talk about that in a moment. Mm -hmm. I think my mousse is just about done. I feel that pretty good fast. about it. So all, if I forgot to turn this off, this is a safety feature. So let's say I forget to turn this off. And I come to the back, the button at the back, you just press the button and you lift. It oh. automatically turns off. Oh. It's a safety feature. Because sometimes when we're busy in the kitchen, we just forget, right? Yeah. So actually, let me give people a look on this. I think he looks pretty good. I'm going to let him go just for a moment until I'm done with this. Okay. I got two going at once. I know. But you, have, you can get two in your kitchen. <laughs> See how easy it is, though. So easy. And so this is my mousse. I'm going to go ahead and pour it right here on a plate for you to see. Okay. So I'm actually just gonna do some right from here to make it easy. But you see the consistency of this mousse as I pour it out is perfect, it's fluffy, yeah. it's light. You want your mousse to be like that. We can actually top it off with our raspberries. So serve however you would like. How great is we this? We actually use this to also make our, right over here is our frozen dessert. So this is actually what is called a semi-fredo in Italian. Okay. Or a 
frozen dessert. So okay. you're basically making almost an ice cream out of it because you make it such a cream. Yeah. And um, recipes like this you can find. What happens with something like this is you actually get excited. Mm -hmm. You start trying things in the kitchen that you've never tried before. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that's what this is all about. This is about inspiring you and then giving you the tools that you need. So again, meringue, what's important about meringue is that it actually gives you uh, peaks. Oh so gosh, let's, let's check out here. There look we go. At that. It's perfect. Staying straight up, just like that. Don't miss that <laughs> shot. Look I how mean, beautiful that is. That is culinary perfect. And then to be real dangerous. Oh. We could do this even, yeah, and it doesn't go anywhere. anywhere, guys, because that's the strength that you need and the power that you need to get that perfect meringue when you're working in the kitchen. We, we don't want to waste time in the kitchen. That's right, and right? you want appliances and tools that you can count on because you don't want to have to do it over, and a lot exactly. of times you don't have the ingredients to just waste and say, oh, I messed up, let me start again. Exactly. So you can count on the, the quality, the innovation. You can count on the, the fact that this is going to work for you, and this is the one that you've seen everywhere. This is the one that you've probably been wanting, but you didn't want to spend $459 or more, and in many cases, it, that's one one lump sum. Here at HSN, we've got it for a birthday price for one day only. I don't think it's going to last the whole day, though, because we don't have very many of them so remaining. So limited. I know. We can we only do this pay. for a certain amount. And yeah. anyways, just because, you know, and, and, and just to really let you understand, all day long for our normal price, yeah. people search us out. Um, we're at high-end retailers. Uh, again, we're a company that's been in business since 1948, 70 years, Italian-based. Mm -hmm. So if you want this beautiful art piece, you know, people have no problem, yes. you know, paying the money because right. it's something Don't that is, it. you know, exactly. It's putting that art piece that also is uh, so innovative and so, uh, sure. again, that workhorse. And but this here is I'm the blue. Here I'm doing my dough hook. Um, so when you're working with dough, you want to stay between one and four. Now, if we can, I don't know if we can get the shot or not but at the top it's actually showing you from one to ten the speeds okay. and it shows you the dough hook where you want to stay over here and then it's actually showing you over here for if you want to use the paddle and everything else oh, okay. so it kind of helps you so if you say gosh Carrie I have no idea what the world I'm doing I have never worked with these before <laughs> we do not leave you hanging we're giving you a manual we're giving you recipes and we're also showing you right at the top where you can be so I'm okay. gonna go ahead and stop this okay and then okay. I'm gonna bring this guy up okay so there it is okay so over here it shows dough hook area and has a dough hook and it has the paddle and the whisk up here showing that you can really come up higher because when you're whisking you want to aerate right so you right. want to go up higher okay so with my dough in moments oh I did gosh. not have to knead I did not have to do anything this is done and I can go ahead and then bake this and make my bread so I just did a multi-grain bread wow when you don't have to knead and you don't have to wait it out and all those sort of things this really speeds up the process and not only that there is nothing like a fresh made bread I know the house smells good. I didn't know that's what you were making it was so fast, Isn't I kind of kinda blinked and missed it. You were like, what just <laughs> happened? Okay, dough well, hook again coming with it, so that's gonna make it super simple for you to work on all your dough recipes. And you can also use that for meats, so if you yeah. find that you really wanna kinda get a good mixture, you can use either your paddle or your dough hook for that. Okay. Now, this is something I like to show, and stay with me on this. Um, this is a recipe that we do at Smeg, and it's a beet slider. Mm. So up here is actually showing what we're gonna make, because you may say, what are all these ingredients coming to? Sliders are a really cool um, thing to make, and this is a way to be either vegetarian or vegan. So if you have people in your life that have to be that, you can do that with this recipe. So what's already in here is my quinoa. It's my mushroom, garlic, and onion mixture that I sauteed previously. Then I'm going to add my breadcrumbs in here. Okay. So I'm gonna do breadcrumbs first and then I'm gonna start this. Okay, and I'm gonna probably put this around like a four, three or four. Three I don't need to go four. super fast with this. I'm just trying to mix it all together. And this one is the cream color, in case you were wondering. And then I'm gonna add my my uh, ground walnuts, so this is giving it consistency. Okay. And then, wait for it, I have to be careful because I'm wearing a white shirt here, guys. <laughs> be careful with your beets, okay. Yeah. So then we're gonna add our beets into the mixture. And then we're going to add balsamic. This sounds we're good. We're going, I know, right? Salt and pepper. We're adding our chives. Okay. Oil, and this is flaxseed. So I've come to find in life that we keep getting told, have flaxseed, it's good for you. <laughs> yeah. And then we go, what do I do with it? Yeah. Because you know, flaxseed on its own is it's... not something that's super tasty, right? No. So you wanna find things to put it in and things to do with it. So here is how you make our, our beef burger. So now this could be your vegetarian burger, this could be your turkey burger, yeah. this could be your meatloaf, this could be so many different things. But what's happening here is you see how the paddle is, and now I'm making a really bad joke at 2 a.m., making minced meat <laughs> of these burgers. <laughs> 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 
kind of fun. Okay, but you know what? Here's the important thing. My hands are free. Mm -hmm. I'm free. I'm pre I'm prepping and working on other things. I'm letting my mixer do all the hard work. If you have dexterity issues and you used to be able to do everything yourself with the, you know in a bowl, yeah. and you say, you know what? I can't keep doing that. Yes. This needs, I need something that's going to do the job. This is it. That's right. Let's Meg do the work for you because that's what it was designed to do. And I know that we're going to show you as much as we can in our last two minutes, but I do want you to go ahead and order. So everything that you just saw, you were getting. If you get this and you want some of the other attachments, we've got those as well. So is this the, this is the food grinder. Yes, this is the food grinder. So I'm just trying to make sure it is coming out. I can't see in the front, you guys. Okay, so I might be not have something correctly on, but I'm just gonna show it to you so that you are aware. But you can grind your own meat with the meat grinder accessory. So here it is here. And then here's the ground meat that we just did previous to the show. Mm -hmm. So if you want the freshest ground meat you can mm -hmm. possibly get, this is just one of the many attachments that we have. Good. We We've also have you. the pasta attachment, which ah. is down here. Attachments are super simple. They just go right at the front of the machine here. So this just turns and comes right off. And then you see this is the mount for all of your attachments. So whether it's it's pasta, grinding meat, you name it. Yeah. We have them all available, so you can check that out. Okay. Um, but making your own pasta, once you do it once,